Today, I want to share with you what I think is the best way to learn to code. And I want to give you some ideas that will help you maximize your results. The best way to learn to code, what worked for me and what I have seen work for many, many other people is learning by building. But don't take my word for it. Here is the creator of the Python programming language, Guido Van Rossum, on the Lex Friedman podcast, giving advice for beginners on how to learn Python. Find something you actually want to do with it. If you say, I want to learn skill X. That's not enough motivation. You need to pick something and it can be a, it can be a crazy problem you want to solve. It, it can be completely unrealistic, but something that, that challenges you in, into actually learning coding in, in some language. Or listen to Chris Ladner, an absolute legend among developers. He is the co-founder of the Swift programming language, LLVM, the Mojo programming language, and many other amazing projects. Here he is saying that the way to start is not by reading a book cover to cover, but by building something. I mean, one of the things I'd say is that um, you'll be most successful if you work on something you're excited by. And so don't get the book and read the book cover to cover and study and memorize and recite and flashcard and go build something, like go solve a problem, go build the thing that you want to exist, go build an app, go build, train a model, like go build something and actually use it and set a goal for yourself. And if you do that, then, you know, there's a success, there's the adrenaline rush, there's the achievement, there's the unlock that I think is where, you know, if you keep setting goals and you keep doing things and building things, learning by building is really powerful. Learning by building is one of the most powerful ways of learning. Instead of learning aimlessly, trying to cross items from a list, reading book after book or watching course after course, the best thing you can do to set yourself for success is to have a goal of something you want to build. When you have something you want to build, you will have a north star of where to go and what to learn. And just like Chris Ladner says, when you build something, you get an adrenaline rush when you succeed. The process becomes more rewarding. You get more and more motivation and you can push through obstacles easier. It's also a great way of remembering and understanding. On the way to building your goal, you will learn things out of necessity. And because you will actually use the things you're learning, you are going to understand and remember them more. You will understand how they are useful, why they're worthwhile learning and how they work. You will also gain something that books and courses cannot give you experience. You will have to learn how to fix the errors and bugs that you will inevitably find, becoming a better developer in the process. People learn to cook by cooking, not by reading about it. That comes after to perfect the craft. Learning by doing will also give you confidence, which helps you when you're stuck in that infinite cycle we all have been at, where you don't feel ready and you keep following tutorials and watching courses and buying more books over and over again because you don't feel like you know enough and you hope that if you read just one more book or follow one more course, one day something will click inside your brain and you will be ready to sit and write a whole program by yourself without Googling once. That self-confidence will also help you avoid suffering from imposter syndrome. When you feel like a fraud, you don't feel like you're good enough and you feel like people will eventually discover that you don't know what you're talking about. Because you're building something, you will have actual evidence of your progress. You will be able to quantify your knowledge, all the books you read and courses you took in something tangible that other people can see and use. And when you look for a job and you have dozens of awesome projects in your portfolio. Your portfolio will speak for you. It will show the experience you have. It will show initiative, autonomy, curiosity, something that degrees and certifications can't show. So now you might say, okay, I'm sold. Learning by building is the way to go. The problem is, I don't know what to build. If you don't know what to build, if you don't have an idea that excites you, don't worry, you're not alone. We have all been there. And that is what the second part of this video is about, how to find something to build. One way is to build the things that you would like to get paid to build or things that you wish you would have built. Next time you come across a cool looking website or a cool app or game that you like, ask yourself if you would have liked to be the person who made it, if you would have liked to be the one getting paid for it, or if you just wish to be able to build something like that. If you answer yes to any of those questions, then you found your project. You now have a product to clone. And if you're looking for a job on a specific industry, or you even have a specific company you want to get into, build things related to what the company does. Or better yet, clone the website, app or service of the company you want to work for. Think of the role you want to apply to and build the things that a person on that role would be building for that company. The same applies if you want to be a freelancer. Ask yourself what your dream client would be. What would an awesome project look like and build that. If that way does not work and you still have no ideas, it might be because you're taking this too seriously. Building silly things is also fine. We all had silly app ideas that only us and our friends would use. Build an app to keep track of who in your group of friends is always late. 
it or make a website for you and your family to vote on what movie to watch next. For example, it does not have to be so serious and making many small projects that all challenge you in different ways is a great way to learn different skills, to have fun and to make your portfolio look great. If you still can't find what projects to make because you doubt your skill level and don't feel good enough to clone something and don't want to build the silly things, remember what Widow Van Rossum said. It's okay if your goal is unrealistic as long as you're excited about it. Being excited about something is a very powerful fuel for your motivation. Building something that excites you but that is way out of your comfort zone or skill level, fully aware that you might fail, is shooting for the stars so you can land on the moon. And finally, if none of those ways excite you, because maybe you want to build a real project for real people and get real world experience at the same time, I suggest you go and work for free. There are many businesses that do things inefficiently. Maybe they rely on spreadsheets too much, or they have people doing mechanical jobs doing something by hand. Around your friends and family, I am sure you can find someone that is a business owner. Buy them a coffee, and ask them what things do they waste most of their time on and see if you can help building some custom software for them. Here is where you will learn the most and where you will get the most experience from. You will have to listen to their requirements, understand their business model and translate that to code. And who knows, maybe they're not the only business with those needs. Maybe you're onto something that can be used by other businesses as well. And you might potentially be sitting on a new startup idea. The most important thing when finding what to build is that you get excited about what you're doing. If you're just acquiring a skill because people with that skill make good money, but you're not excited about it, you are not going to be good at it compared to someone who is, which means you're not going to make the money you were hoping for. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I hope you build something awesome and I hope you're happy while you're doing it. And remember that if you want to learn to code for free with me by building projects, all you have to do is click the link below. There you will find free courses on JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, and Next.js, among many others for free. We have courses for all levels from beginning Beginners to advance, all free. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onjana, kamzahago, saranghamida, see you on the next one. Tamebayo, bye bye.